Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia, Market with Balloons, and coming soon, DIY Balloon Art. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a balloon poodle. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you've seen this poodle before. You're thinking this is the poodle that they do when you go to, the, when you go to a birthday party and the clown makes a poodle. It's kind of like that, but it's going to be like about that big. I'm going to show you how to make a giant balloon poodle. This is going to be fun. All right, so to do this, first of all, we're going to use these linky balloons. I love these linky balloons. So the linky balloons are a balloon that has an extra little tail on the end, and it still has the nozzle, obviously, because otherwise, how would you get the air in it? OK, and um, to start with, first of all, I'm going to just tie a, a little tiny round onto my little link right there, just like that. And now I've actually gone ahead and I've made a big long chain of them um, so that you didn't have to watch me string them all together. So basically what I'm about to do right now, you do 15 times. So this is, a, this is actually a chain of uh, 16 linkies. Okay, so there we go, just like that. So, so what we have now is like, it's kind of like the very hungry caterpillar, you know? It's like this really long chain. Woo! Whee! La 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 la! You can wear it as a boa, you know, like if you're going out to a party, you know, feathers used to be the rage. Now you can wear like a giant balloon boat. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, so let's get busy here. So essentially, if you think about it, anything that you could make out of a twisted balloon, you can make out of the linky balloons if you consider that every link is a bubble. So we're going to kind of make that French poodle. So we're going to start, here's the nose. And we're going to use three for the head, OK? So we counted out a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to twist balloons number two and four together, like that. OK? So there's his head. So cute, right? OK. And now, don't worry, it's going to like swivel all around like that and stuff. It's OK. We'll get to that later, and we'll fix everything so it's stable. So now we're going to go down one. This is his neck. Actually, it's a girl. We're going to give her bows. And now we want, we want a chain of four. OK, so you hold one out, and then you count one, two, three, four. We're going to kind of make like a diamond shape on the inside, and we're going to twist that around. All right, so now it's like this. And you see like it does. It's like floating all over the place. It's OK. All right, and now we're going to leave one for the body, and we're going to count another fourth for legs, one, two, three, four, and we're going to twist it. So you see we got that diamond on the inside there again. And then these two are going to be his little tail. All right. So just like this, it's totally super cute, right? Kind of looks like a big giant coon sculpture, but it's not hugely stable because he's like kind of flopping all around. So what we want to do is we want to add some stability. And we're going to do that by adding a couple of quads in some strategic places. Like we're going to put one here in the back of his tail, her tail. Um, and we're going to put here in, uh, in her legs, little duplet, and another little duplet here in her legs, and we actually want a quad right here to hold her neck, hold her neck steady. There we go, all right, and her, her head's kind of spinning around, we'll get to that. And now we also want, in her legs here, we got a little duplet. And a duplet here, and actually we do need another quad. So I'm just going to borrow a quad from her tail for now, and I will put it back in just a second. OK. So here we're getting there. See? So cute, right? It's a little bit unwieldy to work with you know, all these big balloons like this. And let's turn that around. Stay. Okay, and <laughs> wow, this is just the day of the fighting balloons. Stay. Good doggy. Come on. Sit. All right, and we're going to put some little heart balloons for the little bows in her ears. Just like that. And another one here. And if you actually, if you wanted her to, um, to not wobble around, then you might want to give her on the bottom. On the bottom, you would probably put um, for for her uh, 
for her feet, you'd probably put a couple of water weights on each side, on each of her feet, right? So you'd put like another two here that, um, that had some weight in it, and that would hold it. But, uh, yeah, and actually, and actually the tail you could put, you could put another quad here at the tail, or you could leave it so it could kind of, so if she, so if she can kind of wag her tail a little bit. And there we go. It's a big, giant poodle. Okay, so we got our stable. So uh, actually at the neck we have a six pack there, um, not a four pack. We return that four pack to the tail. And I also put two little bubbles behind her head to hold it up straight. And we've got some weights down at her feet so that she'll support herself. And then of course, you know, if you wanted to put eyes, you could just do like stickers or, or whatever kind of eyes you want over here. Um, I'm gonna kind of leave it like silhouette style because um, I don't like drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Here is a huge, big, giant poodle. And you just tell me that, you know, when people walk in and they see your new pet, that they're not going to be blown away.